Welcome to Discussing Dad Life, also known as DDL. This is Null on Void, where we talk about various topics. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like our content. All right. Uh, well, Discussing Dad Life. Today, we're going to be talking about some reaction videos. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited about this. I am too. Yeah. All right. So we tried doing this the other week, and we kind of had some we had some recording difficulties on it. So we were. I think we got that figured out, though, right? Yeah, we got this figured out this time. <laughs> we did a little test run and made sure everything was coming through, and a lot of the audio was playing. So we should be good. We should be. Should be. So uh, right. let's go ahead and get into the first video. All right. This guy looks it's annoyed. It's the most annoying fucking thing in the world, then. Called it. He looks like he's 12. He does look like he's 12, but he's talking like he's like 30. No, he's got a tattoo. That's true. What do you say? It's like, what do you say? I don't know. It's lip, man. Say something. Yeah. And it's I understand insane. why they're mad. Like, I'd be pissed. Yeah, yeah. Just a lot of jumping around being annoying. You even see the people in the background just looking at this little girl pointing at her. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. I'm saying something. I'm going to say something. Say something. Say something. But his, his, his like, Yo, dealing with me. it is kind of black. Excuse me. Yeah. Your, your kid's interrupting everyone in the restaurant. This guy looks like a fucking mook anyways. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying your kid's interrupting everyone in the restaurant. Well, notice, like, no eye contact. Like, yeah, just, fuck like, yeah, dude. Like, he knows. I think, he knows. He, I think he's these just, should leave. He's, like, defeated, like, I just I leave me alone, man. Leave. leave me alone. Well, he knows he's in the fucking wrong. Yeah. 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 Bitch, you're going yeah, out the man, door. Dude, listen, yo, listen, listen. If you don't leave, I'm going to fuck you up. Seriously. Ooh. You know, <laughs> them is fighting words. That was his threat. Fighting words. And poor little kid, dude. You know what I mean? She's She's just trying to have fun. She's just trying to have fun. She just doesn't know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and look, then a he gets standing st- ovation. Yes, yes. <laughs> man. Yo, yo, so that was just annoying me. That, that nah, I can't really respect him. He likes the Philadelphia sorry, Eagles. Sorry about that. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> there. Did you notice that the mom had like those like four inch hoops on? Yeah, dude, that's all that shit. So weird. So going back, it, the, the daughter's just trying to have fun, right? Yeah, she's yeah. bouncing around, but she just hasn't been taught. You know, when you're in a social setting and you can disturb other people, you should have yeah. respect for other people and not be disruptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but. The parents definitely didn't seem to give a fuck. Yeah, they didn't care. Like, they, I don't know. You could just see it in his demeanor. As he's just heads down. He's like, oh, what are, you know. Oh, oh. You know what? He yeah. probably works long hours, and she like just lets him. Just yeah. let yeah, dude. Lets her do and whatever she wants, and then he's she's probably just nagging him. Like when he, fuck, as soon as he gets yes. home, he's just like, dude, I I just I might don't as well go back care. to work. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. The, and, and we could be completely wrong, but that's the way I literally see it. Yeah. And he doesn't want to leave her because he's worried about, like, getting divorced and her taking all his shit and mm-hmm. child support and the yep. whole fucking works. <laughs> and that's sad because a lot of men are in those. <coughs> well, yeah, a lot of men are stuck in those situations. Yeah, that, that is true. Well, it's, it's that old phrase, you know, it's cheaper to keep her. I mean, as much as that sucks, it is kind of a yeah, true thing. Yeah, that, well, yeah, yeah. You know, so unfortunate situation. Um, Poor unfortunate so. What? Sorry, I watched The Little Mermaid the <laughs> other night. <laughs> the new remake or, or no, 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 no. Fuck that. The classic. Oh, the classic. The classic. classic. Okay. Well, I think the next one we got going on is one of the this most one. disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. God bless yes. you, Mel. One of the most. So I have yet to see this. I have seen it. You have? Yeah, bootlegged, but I've seen it. Is it good? It's fucking good. You're gonna admit that on air. The, the greatest lie. It's good. I've ever t- yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was bootlegged. I, somebody was like, uh, it was on TikTok. I saw something, and somebody was like, "Go to this website, and you can find it." So I went and checked it out. Sure, shit, it's bootlegged. You know, sound quality's for shit, but. I mean, you can see the whole movie. Nice. And so I watched it because I don't have money to do extra things like that. Um, but, um, yeah, dude, the, the the meaning behind the movie or what they're bringing to light, Tim Ballard and Mel and, you know, even Trump was doing that. He was, you know, he signed all those bills to help with the trafficking of yep. people and all that stuff. 
and this movie nails it. And and the thing is about this movie, it was supposed to be put out like five years ago, I guess. In Hollywood. Like, and Hollywood yeah. didn't do it. But here's the thing that I have a problem with that I can see kind of suspicious. Okay. Is it was, it was, um, they would try to put it out under Fox's, Fox 21 or that, oh, that yeah, uh, yeah, music yeah. or movie production. Yeah. And guess who bought that? Disney bought Fox around the same time. Oh, yeah. Well, so they were like, never, we're not putting that shit out right now. You yeah, know what I mean? It's yeah. just coincident. You know, but why put it out now? Why allow it? You know what I mean? Like, Well, if I'm not mistaken, it came out as an indie film. Yeah, it, yeah, it came out under Angel Studios or yeah, something, something like that. Something like that, yeah. So, so it, it came out as an indie film. Hollywood no longer had the ability to stop it from getting put out. But you think the elites would still allow it? You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's just a little shady. That part I have a little skepticism about. But if you if you've noticed, like, because um, it, it beat out what's its oh the Indiana up, Jones movie. Yeah, it beat out Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. But they were talking about like, oh, it took over the number one. Yeah. Like, oh, it supplanted this. But it would not actually say, oh, yeah, it's the number one movie this weekend or anything yeah, like yeah. that. There have been very good uh, – the media has been very well at trying to, like, suppress it. It's, oh, yeah, it's dude. They're of, fucking pros. Yeah. So, I mean, I personally haven't seen it yet. I Watch do. It. I do know, like, you can donate. Yeah. If you yeah. enjoyed it, you can donate to help people who want to see it but can't afford it to go see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, I've heard really good things about it. It's on my to-do list. Um yeah, I just got to find time. <laughs> I get it. I get it. So, yeah, we'll, if you we'll get a that. chance, watch that shit. Okay. Well, I guess the, 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 this next one you told me is someone that I would probably really enjoy. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, okay. So, this is Jason with a felony. He's on uh, YouTube, TikTok. I came across him on TikTok. And he's just, I don't know, dude. He's on point with a lot of shit that he talks about. And okay. it's like inspiring, motivational, just like, but he tells you the way it is. Okay. Cut and fucking dry. And I, I can respect that. Anyways. So. Here we go. I told myself, I told myself this morning when I was walking on this walkway barefooted and I said this to God, I don't know what to do. And that is bullshit. That's the message I got back. I know exactly what to do. We all do. That's what true. the d- defining moment is, oh, yeah, is having the courage to do it. And yep, we will yep. offset Facts. our Facts. abilities and our wills and our wants for courage. And the hard work with this simple statement, I don't know what to do. And that is lying to yourself. Be lying to me. I know exactly what the fuck to do. And you do too. Yeah. Let us find the courage, the strength and honor to fucking do it. Woo. Fluid English. The gra- I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's true. I mean, there's many times where you're... You're just unwilling to take that jump, that leap. Yeah. You know exactly what you I should know, do, yeah. but but you just got you start filling your head with like doubts and, and yeah, yeah. you know, consequences or possibility. Well, it could go this way. Yeah, but you, guess what, motherfucker? It can go this way too. Yes. hundred percent. But you don't know unless you yourself grab yourself by the nuts, tie those fuckers up, and go. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like do something about just, it. Just take the leap. Sometimes that's what it needs. Well, it half, takes. The, half the time, what I find hilarious is half the time we do know what we need to do. However, we just stop ourselves from doing it. Mentally and, sabotage ourselves. But if we were to actually just go ahead and do it, then the, all the stuff that we were worried about would have never even happened anyway. Yeah. It, it happened like 99% of it's in your head. Yes. So, yeah, messed up. All right. That's crazy. Do we have one more? I think we have one more. Think, do we not? I think so. Why can't white people just leave? Oh, white this people? one. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, we need. To okay, get... I, I live in a predominantly white neighborhood, and ain't nobody bothering me. <laughs> I mean, except to invite me over for barbecues, or invite me to their house for dinner, or invite me to go drinking with them, or invite me to the gym, or offer to take me on golf trips, that's or shit. offer to watch my kid, or have their kid come to my house. Or other than that. So they pretty much normal me. shit. Yeah. I like this guy. I mean, on the if this anything, you got all the yes. black supremacists <laughs> The handsome there liberal. That want to keep racism going. Like, they really keep talking about racism and how oppressed they are and what's going on with them and how unfair everything is. And if I were to snap my fingers and make racism disappear tomorrow, they'd still find something to complain about. That sounds That's like Just true. like you. Just like you. Zeke Arkham, cop with that too. Got you six. Why can't? So I do, hmm. <laughs> I do like this one, and because he brings up 
how many good points on this? That Several. Racism only continues to exist in the in the way that it does, the level it does, because people will not stop talking about it. It's a money generating avenue for them, and it's absolutely dumb if they were to. I like Morgan Freeman's take on this. Uh, I knew you were going to say this. Why did you say that? Because I was thinking the same thing. (laughs) Morgan Freeman has it spot on, man. He does. It was probably the most articulate and best way to say it. And I'm just like, well, it's so simple to fix. It is. If you stop talking about it and you treat people with respect, it it goes away. Does that mean you're going to eliminate everyone that has racist tendencies or something like that? No, you're never going to get rid of that. But the simple fact is racism only exists in the level it does today because of liberal white women. You think so? I think it's liberal white women. Damn. Liberal white women, stop it. I mean, <laughs> they, they promote the victim mentality. They want to be, oh, we're on your side. But in, the funny thing is, like, the BLM stuff that all, that happened a couple of years ago. Yeah, that shit like, was horrible. All the stuff on social media and whatnot, or all the, the cities getting burned down and stuff yeah. like that, it's it's not the people that actually live there. They're ask, begging them to stop. But I, I know I know a personal per uh, someone in my personal life that I said they don't want that. Oh, they have insurance, and oh yeah, that that's just but one that, of the minority. And I'm like, that's a horrible way to think about it. You are, insurance. You're a liberal white person, basically condoning the destruction of a black community. W- what is wrong? Yeah, with Yeah, that's you? literally what they destroyed. We're, we're black communities. I mean, I'm sure there was other ethnicities there as well, but well, I'm sure, that's yeah. so insane. Like, why would you support them destroying their own shit? And then insurance doesn't even cover it. It's not going to Not everything. It. No, it, it might be able to pay off their bank loan or something like that, yeah. but they're never going to be able to rebuild. No, and that's horrible. Like, ugh, I don't know. Like, I just don't understand that logic. I don't think people are nuanced thinkers anymore. Like, I could agree with that. Sure. Let's let's go with the premise that there are bad cops. Okay. Well, well, there's it, there's it, good it, and bad in everything. I don't, I don't care who you are. I, I agree, but I'm saying let's go from the premise that there are bad cops okay. because there are bad cops. Okay. And that they do do stupid things every now and again. Yeah. Does that equate to the? millions of dollars in damage that is actually being done to these communities. It does not validate it. No. It does not validate it at all. It needs to be put political pressure on to hold those people accountable. Accountable. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm not a huge cop supporter, but at the same time, I recognize that they're usually in situations that are not normal. Yeah. Things yeah. Are ever going to be in. Um, I don't agree with let's put um, social workers out there. Wait, wait, say that again? So one, one of the big things that was trying to get pushed is, like, not everything re- requires a cop. Oh. Right? So let's bring social workers out there. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, social workers can only do so much, especially, like, volatile situations. Domestic violence cases, like, when you get called to a domestic violence house, they want to send a, a social worker out. But those are probably one of the most volatile situations you can be in. Yeah. So if you're not being able to defend yourself and you're going in there to try help mediating. Oh, you catching an ass whooping. Exactly. It's like <laughs> there's just there's so much more to put into it. It's not just like black and white. Like oh, do no, this or no. Do there's that. definitely there's, a gray area. You know, and and unfortunately, I don't think we are nuanced enough to think about it, or most people aren't. Well, that are chime in on this. I, I think I, I agree with you. I don't think that social workers should be involved in this shit. But and there should be, like you said, some understanding for situations. But there shouldn't. I think cops should just get a little bit better training. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To assess the situations. And I think. Hold on, hold on. So you're saying fund the police. Yeah. Yeah, fund them. Train them. Yeah. Not defund them. No, fuck no. Because you remember back in 2020 when the election was going on? Oh, yeah. They were all like, oh, defund the police. And now they're bitching because fucking. Yeah. (laughs) Who is scared? Oh, we never said that. That was the Republicans. Like, oh, my God, you guys are. Stupid. I, I'm, I'm, but like I said, it's, but there are good cops and there are bad cops. Yeah. And there's no reason for. I've seen some videos where it's like, dude, those cops are in the fucking wrong. Oh yeah. And like, they should be like the, held accountable. Like, uh, I. So there's this guy I watched, Donut Operator, where he he typically defends the police. Yeah. In, in their actions, but he will when when he gets a video in front of him that that is wrong, he's just like, dude, we need to hold them accountable. Yeah. Well, and, and that's and he did like the breakdown of like I can't remember who it was, but like 
they were basically beating this guy. Oh uh, shit! Pulled him out of his car, was beating him, and ended up actually killing him. Ouch! Um, not only were the four cops charged, but like the EMTs and stuff that were just kind of standing around watching, they were also held accountable. Well, like, so oh. accessory to murder. They didn't stay. They didn't try to help the, the individual. Yeah. yeah, I could. Yeah, dude, guilty by association. Yep. So I mean, it, it's it's just really interesting this whole police and, and community service thing. It the the bad part is they're I don't know why anyone would want to be a cop these days. No, right? there's no fucking. They don't get paid a lot, and they got to deal with some of the worst people in society. Yeah. On a daily. Some people just have that that sense of like a call to action, a call to duty. You know what I mean? Like they just feel it. Well, I, I completely understand and respect that. I just, you don't lo- Yeah. I, I would not encourage anyone to go down that route. Yeah. I get you. I guess is how I would say, phrase that. But yeah, I mean, this racist crap is kind of getting old. In my opinion, it fucking is dude. Um, Oh, I got, Oh, hang on. Random. I got called a, uh, a Mexican the other day and they told me to go jump back across the border. Aren't you like Italian? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I have some Mexican in me, but like, yeah. I was like, huh. You don't. All right. Uh, check that shit out. So my, my, my brother-in-law is native, uh-huh. uh, but he looks Hispanic. <laughs> so, okay. So I, I remember being out with him and then someone starts speaking with him in Spanish and he's just like, I don't speak Spanish. And they're just like, oh, you don't know. You don't respect your heritage or blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. And he's just, so he starts speaking Navajo to him. Oh, shit. That would have been funny. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, go for it, bro. Like, that's just hilarious. He's like, I'm going to videotape this. Well, but uh, that kind of leads into another point when it comes to racism. Racism is not just white on black. No, it's not. Um, and I do absolutely get very sick of thinking that when Americans think of slaves or the slavery, mm-hmm. They're literally only thinking of the American slavery industry yeah. back in the day, right? Yeah. But slavery has been around since... Generations, the, man. Uh, I mean, basically since the dawn of humankind. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and unfortunately, there were slaves still in... Um, God dang it, I can't think of the... Fuck, there's slaves now. Well, yeah. I mean, well, sex child... Or, yeah. yeah. Sex trafficking whatnot, you know. Um, child, yeah, child I mean, sex it, trafficking. There you go. Thank I got you. <laughs> so I mean, it, that's what it's, I'm here for. It, it's just frustrating that we cannot expand our concept of what the past or what our history has done and how we can how we've grown grown forward. Yeah, I mean, we're not perfect by any means. No, but we, I think, are. Well, we're. I don't know about now, but. We were headed in the right direction, Martin Luther King, and, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like we were, we were getting ahead of the curve, mm-hmm. so to speak. And now it's like they're bringing it back, just reversed. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's fucked up. Man. Well, the self segregation at the colleges is kind of becoming like when oh, yeah, when I, I found about out that. about that, I was like, what? Well, like yep. you guys are wanting to go back to like the Jim Crow area? Well, like what the fuck's going on? Yeah, dude, it's like it makes no sense. Yo, I would agree with you. I thought race tensions. I mean, I remember going growing up, and things some felt really good, like like we're really, making like we were making a lot of progress. Yeah, and, and like everyone's starting to get along. Like the melting pot was actually working. Yeah. Um, and then I specifically remember Obama when Obama came out and and said that um, Trayvon Martin, that whole Trayvon Martin thing. Oh, Florida, I think I remember that. Yeah. That's when I started noticing a change. Like there was this like. All of a sudden, race relations didn't seem like they were on the correct path anymore. All of a sudden, it felt like we were going backwards. Like, now we started pitting people against other people again based on their skin color. I'm just like, did we not fight so long to get rid of this, and now we're going back? Yeah. This makes no sense to me. My sense on that, my two takes. That's his controversial take. Yeah, we had a lot to say on this one. Sorry. It, it It's good, though. I mean. Well, it's just, it's right there in your face. If you can't see it, then I don't know, man. Like, yeah, it seems so obvious. It does seem so obvious, but like I said, humans don't seem to have, be able to do uh, nuance anymore. Yeah. So it is what it is. But yeah, I think that's the end of our reactions. Yeah. You guys have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please leave us a comment on anything you want to hear us discuss. Something you disagree with. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Till then, peace. peace.